So uh, this is an organic lead gen update. It's not meant to be like the end all be all of organic social media. Uh, this is more of just like uh, some trends that I've been seeing for a while and I've been talking to you guys about for a while and uh, just what it all kind of means, right? And really what's going on is we are seeing um, organic social media mature as a marketing uh, tool, right? And as more and more people jump, you know, there's a phrase, I think it's Gary Vaynerchuk that says it, but it, there's a phrase that marketers ruin everything. And that's kind of what's going on here is, you know, marketers have really attacked organic social media. And um, unfortunately, you know, I'll, I'll blame the MLM crowd. There's so many people doing it really poorly that the marketplace is getting a little fatigued from all of the stuff going on with organic social media. So, so let's talk about that just a little bit. Um, so first of all, you just need to understand that the organic social media landscape has shifted, right? Um, and I think lockdown and COVID had a lot to do with that, but we were headed this direction anyways. Um, it, it's getting, it was getting more and more crowded. And so this is our, and as it, it shifts and evolves, you need to shift and evolve too. So this is the old paradigm. And this even like five years ago was like the way to go. Connect, pitch, repeat, right? A year ago, this was getting really difficult. Six months ago, this stopped like working, right? Like depending on your, on your market. So if you are uh, chasing a market that is not super social media savvy or um, is not um, adjacent to a consulting industry, because um, the consultants are really hitting organic social media hard, uh, this might still be working in certain industries, okay? So if something's working for you, you can keep going with it. But um, basically, what am I saying? I'm saying that the days of being lazy with your organic outreach and still being successful are over. You, you can't be lazy with this anymore. You can't be sloppy with this anymore, right? So now the marketplace, and we kind of talked about this in just trends yesterday, if you remember, but the marketplace wants us to be more human. They want us to be more personalized and they want to engage with a purpose, right? We don't want, um, we don't want people coming into our inbox and be like, hey, how are you doing? I just want to get to know you. Like they want you to be there with a purpose and to have, you know, um, a reason for reaching out to them. A, a year or two ago, you, you would be kind of novel coming in and be like, hey, how are you? What's up? Like, oh, you're actually having a conversation. Now it's like every MLMer has done that. And they're like, what do you got for sale? Why are you talking to me? You know, like they're trying to cut to the chase. So those are the three things we need to work on is being more human, more personalized, more purposeful. So here's the new paradigm for you with your social media outreach. Okay, so this is the old one as review. Connect, pitch, repeat, right? Now it's add value, connect with relevance, engage, and assist. And that assist portion is the transition into a sales conversation. Okay. So um, let's look a little bit at what this could mean, right? So let's look, we're going to look at Facebook and LinkedIn because those are still the two, um, the two platforms I suggest. This is translatable to... Um, to other, other platforms, you know, whatever other platform you're on. Um, okay, so Facebook. So now you used to be able to just like connect with anybody, right? Now you need to connect with relevance, right? So we want to build an audience through groups. So go be active in groups, go connect in groups, go talk in groups. And people that engage with you, those are the people you want to talk to, right? So uh, be active in those key groups, add value daily in those groups, and then connect with the people who engage with you. And then those are the people that you start conversations with. And if you do this well, what this would look like is I'm in a group, I'm engaging, I'm talking, people are, are commenting, and I'm connecting with them and sending a message saying, hey, thanks for, you know, I saw we were both in that group. Thanks for commenting on that, you know would love to hear more about your thoughts on that topic or something. So we're starting a conversation with real relevance, with real, real teeth, right? It's not like a, Hey, how you doing? It's like a, um, let's continue this conversation type of, of conversation. Okay. So that's how it might look like on Facebook. So the big shift there is instead of just connecting with willy nilly, 
it's really leveraging groups and targeting groups to have more high quality connections and high quality conversations. Um, LinkedIn might look like this, kind of a similar feel to it, right? But um, on LinkedIn, groups are not as a big deal. What is going really well right now are courses and events. So leveraging courses and events to find people and engage with them and then engaging with their profile and their content to show that you are. So the difference between Facebook and LinkedIn is that um, they know on LinkedIn, if you went and looked at their profile, they know if, if you looked at their content and having a moment of seeing who they are is a relevant uh, data point for people. They care if you went and looked at their profile. They care if you actually did a moment of research to figure out who they are, right? And then, uh, so once you engage with them and once you interact with them, then message with and, and ask to connect with uh, adding value. So I used to say, don't send a message when you connect with somebody because it was like more of a numbers game. Now we really want you to be relevant in your connection strategies. So I'm, I guess, flip-flopping. I'm switching that uh, recommendation and saying on LinkedIn, we need to be sending messages to everybody as a way to increase the relevance of the connection, right? Why are you connecting with this person? And then the in way to engage them into a sales conversation is invitations to relevant activities or events, right? Um, so some other things to, um, well, okay. So the biggest change to this really is leveraging a value add as your pathway to the sales conversation. We said yesterday, and we still stand by this, that authentic conversations always lead to sales. The way to start those authentic conversations is through a value add, right? Is there, is there a, a lesson learned that you can post in a group? Is there a, a, a tool you can share? You know, like adding value to their life first is your pathway to that authentic conversation. Um, so consider using webinars, events, live training, masterclass, podcasts, all as those transition points, right? Those are great excuses to engage people and to invite people. It's almost like you can view this as like, um, you've got a bunch of uh, acquaintances and you're hosting a party. That's an excuse for you to reach out to all these acquaintances and, and talk to them, right? Come to my party. You know, your webinar event training or masterclass or your podcast are all parties that you can invite people to. And people don't get um, upset about being invited to a party, right? So um, that that's your party, right? So use those as your transition points. And here's the cool thing is that if someone says, yeah, I'd love to come be on your podcast or yeah, I'd love to come to that masterclass or no, actually I'm busy. Either way they answer that, you can say, oh, cool. Well, are you doing anything with X subject? Like it's a great transition point. Any way they answer to actually start a conversation around your expertise, right? 